Hello, everyone, and after a very short break, we will be continuing the SATT round of 32 matches. Uh, nice thing to commentate to, I guess. Uh, an immediate fail by Croxman. Huh. Well, let's just pretend that that didn't happen. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to round 32 match between Sam and Croxman. Uh, not too sure if this is a, a winner's bracket or loser's bracket match, uh, I'll check that right now. Huh. Oh, that's weird. Can't find Croxman's name in the challenge. Unless they've gone through a name change, but not too sure about that. But anyway. Uh also I think the the slots are switched, so might want to you know get on that after the warm-ups. I think this is a loser's bracket match. I did I did see Jem's name in the loser's bracket, but not Crossman. So I just assume that this is a loser's bracket match, and Crossman did indeed change your name. So just uh, going based off of the qualifier scores, Jem does have a little bit of a a little bit more of an advantage, probably. Just based on their seating. Uh, okay. So with that, uh, Crossman finds a fail on the warm up. I mean, they can put warm up. They can put no fail on the warm up if they, I mean, if they want to play the entirety of it. But with that, I guess we're done with both warm ups. It's a very, very fast warm-up section, uh, session. I'm not sure if the players uh, have adequate warm-up from that. But it is what it is, and they probably just gotta roll with it. Slots are switched and oh, the uh, chat is gone. But I guess uh, it's gonna be a mystery of what's getting banned or what the role is. Oh, never mind, chat is there. But no one said anything yet, so I'm not too sure if it's actually us or oh. Okay. I don't know if they rolled already. Uh, okay, so they they've already done their rolls. It's just uh, the chat in the stream was kind of borked up a bit. So we'll just uh, let's see what the ref says. Mm -hmm. So it looks like them was 
Gem won the role. No, don't know what the role was, but it was high enough. They do get to pick their orders. Band and pick. Uh, probably not. Don't really understand the uh, the orders. So as a quick re recap, if you win the role, if you win the role, you you have the choice of banning first or second, or picking first or second. You cannot do what Jen just did. If you, yeah, I am explaining this horribly. But basically, is uh, is uh, is all in the chat. So you just assume that Gem uh, favors. Oh wow. Okay. This is a little little bit of a confusion happening on everybody's part, mine included, because I have no idea no idea what's going on. Okay, so we just let's say that Gem uh, went with ban ban order, and they chose to ban second. So Croxman hitting up hitting with that DT three ban. Then Gem responds with uh, he did not respond, but Croxman that that's not how it works. Oh my God. Why? What, what am I? What am I doing here? Okay, so gem ban easy. That is that is established. Crossman bans DT three. Gem bans easy. Now, now is going to pick order. Croxman, I guess that he goes for the. Oh man, I already forgot what he chose earlier. <laughs> yes, now Croxman, now you can pick. Oh yeah, you can pick if you want to go if you want to pick first or second. But assuming that uh you have already chosen no mod three, so we'll just go with you picking first. So, starting off with Nomad 3, Chippy Techno. As we seen from previous match and the many other previous matches that had this, that played this, uh, it doesn't really look like there is a 
really big fail potential. Here we go. Time to see if these players will be able to handle the technical stuff. Right, so far, Gem holding on better, reaching 100 combo, crossing and finds a break a little bit earlier. But as both of them simultaneously breaks, their combos are being reset, and accuracy is helping Croxman get that early lead. Oh, a little bit close to failing, but it's still still not looking that bad. No, not looking bad at all. Oh, but as Gem. Manages to hit that 100 combo, Croxman with the lower combo right now. Still in the lead but not by much. Accuracy is the only thing that's keeping his score higher than Jem. But as the map goes on with a higher combo, Jem might find himself in the lead as he does. Croxman finds himself a break almost halfway through. No one really in danger of failing. Right before the spinner, Jem does indeed break combo, resetting it. Oh, Crossman very close. Oh, does indeed find the fail. Unfortunately, it was his own pick as well. Well, ignore what I said about uh, this map having not much of a fail potential because apparently... Uh, fails can still happen. But uh, there it is, first point goes to Jen. Oh, oh man, we're in for a treat tonight. That Hard Rock 2. Uh, if anyone here doesn't know what Hard Rock 2 is, we'll just let the, just let the song explain itself. And when you're all out of hope, down at the end of your rope, and nobody's there to throw you a line. Yes, so Da Vinci's notebook, Enormous Dommer. Come on and take a walk in my shoes. Never worry about a thing, got the world on uh, the Yeah, this, I don't think it's been passed at all. Uh, apparently it's also a, uh, called a 2B map, so this is uh, honestly something that I, I don't think you're expected to pass. It's a matter of how far can you go. The sliders. The, the sliders are the best part. Whenever life gets you down, keeps you wearing a Okay, crown, here we go with the Hot Rock 2. Croxman find, finding breaks very early on. 
But I I think break here doesn't really matter because of nature of this map. No one, I don't believe anyone has has passed it. So all you have to do is last longer than your opponent. And here we go. Why are why why do we? Why do we need this? Why are we here? Yeah, the sliders are definitely unique. But actually, both players still having full health. This slider is gonna change things. Oh, someone's gonna fail here. Gem is very close. Croxman also equally close. Oh, this slider could be the last. Oh, Grossman. I uh, could just couldn't handle handle the sliders. Life gets you down, keeps you wearing a frown, and the gravy train has left you behind. Couldn't stop laughing, and my eyes just couldn't stop suffering. Down at the end of your rope. And nobody's there to throw you a line. Yeah, it's very if you ever get so low that you questionable at best. Come on and take a walk in my shoes. Never worry about a thing, got the world on a string. But got we've got that out of the way. And all is good. I take a look at my enormous pee. Oh, so it does look like Crossman is going for a Nomad 5, Lacrima. Please, eat oriented pick. Hope we pass jumps. So, oh, man, this map is a lot more than just jumps. But it is a pretty big part of. Uh, like, it, it is. The jumps are definitely capable of killing someone. And here we go. Lacrima, time to see. Will Crowdsman be able to get on the board or will Jam extend their lead further? Alright, starting off, both players trading misses. Crowdsman not having the best time with that, with uh, keeping his life up. Drops down to half, finds a bit more break. Oh, yeah, these sliders, these sliders here, definitely could have, definitely could have killed someone. Yeah, this entire section is very hard to play, but both of them managed to get through that part. I think the spinners as a little bit of a relief. Oh, here we go, the bus sliders fan. Following with the screens, uh, not no high combos remaining. Uh, the nature of this app it is very fast and well, yeah, it, it's basically just fast. It's hard to play. I I don't know what else to say. But Jen so far makes it to 200 combos, so he's definitely going to have a very comfortable lead in points right here. 
but find the break. This, this is the this is one of the harder sections too. You could definitely die from here. As you see, Crossman did come very close to it, but manages to stay alive. Ooh. Once again, another very close call. Oh, Gem looking very confident on it. Uh, the map is almost over. Oh, Crossman with the sad face. He sees the point. Gem extends his lead further. 3 nothing. Now Gem has the power of choice. Can pick wisely. Also a reminder that you cannot pick Hard Rock again because of the double pick rule, but wait. DT3 is banned. No no no, DT3 is illegal. Exactly as Croxman says, DT3 is Bane So, yeah, probably, probably actually a really good ban by Croxman. Kind of predicted what Gem was gonna pick, like sooner or later, and yeah, going for the DT3 pick when it's banned, so. Yeah, he has to find he has to find something else. And Jem does go for Nomad 4, Kanisama Nejimaki. That you in chat, Jen? Hello. Right, but yeah, this could be a potentially a good pick. But honestly, it doesn't. But like, there's not as much fail potential except for a couple of parts here and there but for the most part a lot of the chart is pretty a uh, fairly straightforward or not exactly straightforward but there's not as much fail potential as something like i don't know the hard rock 2 because i can't find any other comparison all right but here we go starting off with the Nomad 4, the alt pick. Yeah, as you can see here, Gem doing pretty well. Managing to keep combo, keep that combo going. Up to 100, Crossman has not been able to breach the 3 digit combo mark just yet. But its accuracy is very, very close to Gem. So yeah, okay, Crossman does make it to the 3 digit combo, close to 200, Gem has already passed that. Ooh, Crossman loses, loses the 200 combo, and the lead is going to extend a lot. But both trading misses now, so there's going to be no difference in score. Oh, once again. A little bit more break from Crossman. HP did a little bit low, but um, not really any cause of concern. Manages to get his health back up to full. But 
gem overall just you know, playing a better game of Osu. That point lead is definitely in his favor. Like really the only the only cost of cost of concern that Gem has right now is failing the map. Like they go up point to see Crocto finds a break, not able to catch up in combo. So yeah. The combo game, the combo lead is definitely in Gem's favor. And the point lead as well. That's a lot of sixes in your score, Gem. Yeah, about the, the small break section where they could see each other score. And you're getting to the solo crouchman. Manages to get through that space that space screen burst. That's probably the hardest part. That the hardest part of the chart where there was a lot of field potential there, but managed to hold on to it. Ooh, but yeah, HP has been dipping in and out. Like up and down, pretty pretty much like throughout the in this final quarter. While Gem on the other hand, just maintaining that full that full health to gain. Yeah, we're nearing the end already, and the Crossman, I definitely do not believe that he can catch up in points, so he definitely has to hope for Gem to find break at ultimately a fail, but it doesn't look like it's happening. We're at the end of the map, and Gem takes it 4 0. Yeah, match point for Gem. Now Crossman has one final pick to hopefully you know, get up on the board. He needs to salvage something. Goes for DT1. Not too sure about DT1. This, I, I didn't personally see that played a lot. Or, well, I should say that I myself did the play, so I'm not sure what what kind of a map it is. But apparently, it's AR10. I I think. Okay, new king is born. Okay, the thing with double time, like I've said this in the previous in a previous stream. That double time is just a uh, a pretty easier pattern in comparison to the rest of the pool, but it's just fast. So if you can handle like speed, but the patterns are. A lot easier so that is definitely less fail potential there if you can do that but then again AR10 is also pretty difficult so people might struggle on that Match point for Gem and Crossman, I guess he chooses to play the previous map because it's a very good song. Uh, of course, uh, it's just client things. You should get that fixed. 
anytime soon. Alright, so we're back into it. Gem uh, as usual, it does look like he he's a little bit more com comfortable. Not on account of that 200 combo. So yeah, it's definitely very, pretty much uh, pretty much in the lead, like solid lead. Over Crossman, very close to failing. Yeah, HP did very dangerously close. Oh, oh, another one. Another huge drop. Uh, uh, based on how based on how the entire map has been going, Gem is definitely not going to give up very easily. See more breaks coming from Crossman. Gem also did break, lose his combo, but Crossman HP has been just been going up and down, up and down. And with that accuracy difference being larger than 10% it's not something that you can come back from easily Ooh. yeah very close I don't think there's really much that Crossman can do unless Zem finds their surprise fail but definitely doesn't look like it's happening as we reach the final moments of this match the curtains close. Gem picks up his fifth and final point. The sweeping Croxman. Uh, GG to both players. Unfortunately, Croxman just couldn't find that find a gap in Gem's defense. None of his picks worked. Every one of Jem's pick worked. And with that, Jem wins 5 to nothing. Moves on further in the loser's bracket. Crossman unfortunately finds himself knocked out. So with that, I think that I think that's all the stream that we have for the rest of today or tonight. All right, so yeah, yeah, I think I think that is it. So with that, we're going to be, be taking a break, um, which is probably in a couple of days. But for now, thank you all for watching. Uh, I've been Cryolian, commentating with myself, Cryolian. And yeah, we're gonna close the stream out, so uh, take care.